everyone. We're back here at the lovely view of the arch. It's kind of become like my favorite recording spot because it's close to the park, but it's also um, not like being hammered with copyrighted music, so can't really be infringed upon. Um, wow, today was just nuts. So it's Saturday and I'm going to try to avoid the parks on the weekend like a plague because of the fact that just the wait times are crazy, the crowds are pretty big. They're still small enough that you can kind of maneuver through the COVID stuff, but they're still big enough that you're kind of a little worried. Uh, like wait, ride wait times are an hour plus, it, it, it's pretty nuts. So Friday night, a bunch of news broke. Uh, on the app, they had a demo for a new haunted house that was over by ET. And initially they used the Tooth Fairy uh, stuff for it as like a placeholder, just getting it live. And then uh, pictures started coming out like all over the place of one of the warehouses in the back where they were putting up a Beetlejuice logo. And then of course it officially broke that for today and tomorrow they're going to be running a Beetlejuice haunted house for only two days, <laughs> which is just, wow, thanks. <laughs> but, um, okay, so I've done all three, all three haunted houses. Um, I did the Tooth Fairy on Thursday, which a couple days ago. I did the Bride uh, earlier in the week. And between those two, so far, like the Tooth Fairy had better scares, but the Bride was just better themed. Uh, Beetlejuice blows both of them like out of the water, like a million percent better than both of them. It's theming, it's scares. I want to say I jumped like wholeheartedly, jumped a couple feet in the air like two or three times in this house. Um, it's the ambiance is amazing. It's just fun. Like the other ones, they try to scare you. I walked into this one already jazzing, but just all the music and stuff going on. Um, I got a picture of the front of the house completed. I'm going to post that, of course, probably somewhere in here, just throw it in as a slide. But um, yeah, no, it was phenomenal. When you first walk in, it's, it's like a queue inside of a queue in the sense that you have like a winding path that's going up a ramp and they have a full actor who's mic'd up and it's not pre-recorded lines like he was interacting with me like i'm wearing my uh, ghostbusters t-shirt right now i could not have timed that any better thank you um <laughs> my gopro stand decided to just drop on me right when i wanted to show my shirt anyways um yeah he was interacting with me hey kid who do you want me to kill and i was like no 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 one and he goes oh possession and then it goes on to that whole learn to throw your voice fun at parties and it, he was farting, there were smoke effects. Like, while you were waiting in that line, you were just having fun. It was great. Uh, hey, you wanna get into my house as much as I wanna let you into my house, so let's make this fast. You know, st stuff like that, it was just great. Um, the masks were amazing. They had full prosthetic masks, but with Beetlejuice, they can get away with that. And you can tell that they took time to make sure that the actors were safe, not just the plexiglass, but uh, there was a scene where they wanted two individuals that were fully kitted up, one of them being Beetlejuice, the other being um, one of the other ghosts. I don't, I don't want to ruin too much for those that do get to experience the house, but they have a good bit of distance between them and they actually have them blocked off. Like there's a, a wall or between the two of them. Um, their masks, of course, were incredible. It, it, the house basically tells the story of the movie. You get all the key points, all the key beats. Uh, there's a couple really amazing puppets. Uh, one of them you kind of see coming, and I don't want to skip, but I mean, it was great. And then the other one, you kind of can, can't can help not see it's that big. It's great though, I knew it was coming. Still made me jump when it triggered. Uh, just phenomenal house. It, it, it's hard to describe it without like spoiling too much, but let's move on to like the individuals who do want to go. How do you get it? Because it's 100% virtual. There is no line. You can't stand up, set up and like wait and wait and wait. You can't be like, I'm gonna wait two hours if it kills me to, to go through this house. It doesn't work that way. Uh, it's 100% virtual through the app. So if you're coming this weekend, make sure you have the app downloaded, make sure you have it updated. Get here as soon as you can. Uh, honestly, before the park opens, seven, eight, even then. If you're a pass holder, you can get in a little early, but, but still. You want to be on property as quickly as possible so that you can re re reserve those spots the moment they open up. Uh, they release some throughout the day, so some people could get in and, and get theirs like that, but they don't tell you when and they don't tell you how many, so you basically have to just hammer the app if you want to. 
I got super lucky, I'm not gonna lie. I had no idea that it was check-in only. I was gonna be one of those people that showed up and just said, I'll wait two hours if I have to to go through this thing. Uh, but I was talking to a gentleman and I was just being super polite. Uh, and I understood. My goal was I was gonna sit in the U-Rest area and just hammer that thing for an hour if I had to. Um, but as I was leaving, this gentleman showed up behind me. And he's like, hey, uh, do you have a reservation? And I said, no, of course I didn't. <laughs> And he goes, well, I do, do you want it? And I, yeah, why would I not want it? Of course I want it. So he pulled out his thing and I got to take a picture of his barcode and I made sure it was nice and clean and crisp. And he basically, him and his family had already gone through it once. They got the reservations the moment the park had opened and they reserved a second time. They got in on that second batch, but they were gonna leave. So like stars aligned. I would not have been able to go through that house if it wasn't for that man. And if you're watching this video and you recognize my voice, Sir, you are a saint. <laughs> Thank you. Um, beyond that, I mean, I didn't do too much. I rode uh, Green Gods while I was waiting for my 115 Beetlejuice experience. I got some chicken fingers at the drive-in place just so I could eat something because I hadn't eaten anything. Like literally, the moment I realized that this was a thing, I got my stuff and I ran out the house. Um, so I was a little hungry, but uh, Worth it, totally worth it. I'm gonna try to get home and get this video up as quickly as possible, uh, just so that people can maybe get something before tomorrow. I hope they keep it up longer than, than the weekend, like at least a week longer. And the rumor is that they only have it out here because Warner Brothers basically, you know, flapped their ego on the table and said, look, if you want Beetlejuice for 2021, you're gonna have to open it for 2020. And the thing is, is they have all the houses supposedly are still set up except for Billie Eilish. From what I've been told, that one has been officially dismantled, but the rest are still up. So they could have opened all of these from the get go, but maybe it's a staffing thing. I don't know behind the scenes. It, it, and maybe the house wasn't even converted for COVID and they had to convert it quickly to get it set up for Universal because they didn't have to do much modifications from what I understood, uh, from what I've heard. Uh, but of course that's all hearsay, that's all rumor. It could be complete BS, like this thing could have been set up for COVID since the beginning, but the world will never know. Um, it's really worth it. If you can if you can get out here and see it, it's really worth it. Uh, between the, the three houses, it is by far the best. Best theming, best, um, I'd say best scares. Like Tooth Fairy had a couple good ones, but I wanna say Beetle just got me more. Maybe that was the mood I had. Like when I walked into Beetlejuice, I was just in it. I was having fun. It was not like the other ones that try to put you into like this tense, scared moment where they're like trying to psych you out and get you into it. Now Beetlejuice, it's like you had that signature move, music playing, you know, the character was out there loud, bombastic, being himself and just, just mwah, chef's kiss. Just can't see my lips, but mwah. <laughs> um, 10 out of 10 would recommend. Um, as for the chicken fingers, I mean, for food and stuff that I ate, cause you know, everyone wants to know, how was this, how was that? It was $10 chicken fingers, man. Like, what, what, do, you, what do you expect here? It, it was cheap, food, filled, tastes good. I think I spent 14 cause I got a chocolate shake. Would, would recommend if hungry, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's food. <laughs> That's my quote, 2020, it's food. Anyways, uh, but yeah, good luck. If you're coming tomorrow, Sunday, uh, October 31st, 2020. No, wait, that's November 1st, today's the 31st. Today's Halloween, yeah, today's Halloween. Um, if you're coming tomorrow, good luck, really, good luck. I hope, I hope you get to go through it. It is worth the experience. If you need to have one person sitting down at a bench and you need to tag them out while everybody else goes and rides rides and that one person just hammers the app and then you trade off like, you know, um, toy soldiers, do what you got to do. But definitely, definitely try to see it if you can. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Uh, it's my intro, it's my exit, it's the whole episode almost done one thing. I might put in a little clip of the fountains that I got if the, mu the music isn't too crazy. Uh, as I sat down to record the first version of this, the fountain show started to play at the U-Rest area as that. And I was like, oh, this is great. Look at all this copyright. I did notice one thing, and I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but if you go through Universal Studios, you hear the Back to the Future music like every third song. Like right now it's playing. Hopefully it's not too loud because I don't want this on the video. But it's it's like I heard it five, six times today, and I'm like, that's great and all. I love this song, tons of nostalgia, but you don't even have a ride based on that IP. <laughs> Fix that. 
Universal. Fix that. N new Back to the Future, right? Or better yet, new movies. Reboot it. You reboot everything else. Heck, if Telltale can do a phenomenal game series that basically rehashes the plot in a different way, you can. <laughs> do the thing. Uh, anyways, that's it. I'm going home. I'm going to rest. It's Halloween. Uh, might get into some sort of costume, do something. I don't know. I got to see what my other friends are doing. But yeah, it's, I'm tired. <laughs> All right. Everybody, have a good one. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Like, comment, subscribe, share, type in the doodly doo. I don't care. Just, it helps. If you like what you saw and you want to help me grow, it helps a lot. But everyone, have a good one. And I'll see you in the next one.